Today's show is about Google Ads absolute top metrics. So we're going to be running through what these are, what do they mean, how to add them in your Google Ads account, um, why are they important, and they are really important, and I'll explain why in this video. Um, and then finally, uh, we'll do a little bit at the end on Google Shopping specifically, because the absolute top metrics there are slightly different to they are uh, than they are with Google Search. So first and foremost, how do we add these to your Google Ads account in the data so you can analyze and check how your uh, account is performing? So head into uh, campaigns or ad groups or uh, keywords or even in the search terms reports, um, head to the columns button and then you'll find some of them under uh, performance. So impressions absolute top, impressions top and you'll also find some in competitive metrics uh, so search lost top impression share um, and so on and so forth so i'm going to run through all these anyway and show you where they are but that's where you'll find them that's how you add them to your google ads account um, and remember just because you added these at campaign level doesn't mean they'll show at ad group level or for keywords so you have to do them in each individual location it's a bit annoying frustrates the hell out of me every time i use google ads but that's how it works so how does this how do these columns look what's the data and what does it mean <clears throat> so we've done uh, another video uh, a little while back about search impression share um, and it's well worth you watching that if you haven't seen it um, i'll put a link in the description of the video um, so impression share is effectively how many times your ads would be eligible to show in the auction versus how many times they actually did so that means that someone has typed in a query that would match a keyword that you are bidding on or someone has typed a query that potentially would match a product in your inventory for Google Shopping. Um, and that is uh, measured against how many times your ads actually showed as a percentage. So 10% impression share means you, uh, if you've got 100 impressions, um, you could have had 1,000 impressions. So that's impression share, just very briefly. Watch that other video for a more in-depth explanation and why it's important. Um, and then the next column we've got here is the exact match impression share. So that means the precise keyword that you are bidding on was exactly what someone typed into Google. So uh, if someone was looking for accountant near me, how many times did your ad show for that exact phrase? Or someone typed accountant Portsmouth, um, how many times did that search query trigger your ad? Um, but that won't include things like um, accountants who are good at tax in Portsmouth because that's not the exact keyword. So that's what that one means. And then lost impression rank would mean how much of that impression share is lost due to ad rank. So remember, you could lose impression share because your budget isn't high enough. You just can't afford the clicks that would happen if you were to show ads every single time. Um, so that means your budget is too low. Rank is more uh, one of two things. Either you are not bidding enough for that uh, search query or that keyword, or the relevance of your ad or the relevance of your page where you're directing that user to is not high enough or a combination of all of those so we're getting into google ads quality score issues there so those are kind of part and parcel of the same thing so um, you are losing impression share due to rank okay not budget so that's bid or relevance so the next one is search top impression share so top would mean these four ads here above the organic results okay so these are organic this is the local stack and then here we have the top results so sometimes there are four ads here sometimes there are three sometimes two sometimes just one it does depend on the query and it will change from time to time so top just means that you are appearing at the top of the page on the google search results in the ads section okay so top is any one of those positions so the impressions top percentage, that's the percentage of the time that, in this example, that this keyword that I'm looking at would appear in top positions out of the impressions that it got. So again, forget impression share now. We're now looking at the impressions that your ads got from this keyword. Again, could be your ad group, could be campaign. So this one, uh, this example is showing fairly low. So 23% of the time we are, um, 
uh, when our ads are appearing, um, only 23% of the time they're, they're appearing in those top positions. And then we are losing top impression share due to rank, uh, bids probably, uh, things like that. Or it could be that there are, this particular keyword is a phrase match, so there might be um, kind of more specific search terms that that keyword is trying to match and uh, we're not showing for those because the ad isn't relevant. You know, our keyword is too broad and that what might be why we're losing that. Could be a heap of other reasons, but just looking at the headline data, that would be my first um, investigation. So the next one we move on to is impressions absolute top as a percentage. So uh, similar to this one. So this is the number of times that we have showed in absolutely first position. So first position is this one here. So that is absolute top. So the, all four of those are top. This is absolute top. So that's the percentage of the time that we have showed in absolute, absolute top position for that particular keyword. Again, this could be an ad group level or campaign. And then um, absolute top impression share. So how many times have we shown versus how many times we could have. 48% of the time getting on for that, uh, which is pretty good. Um, and then how much have we lost due to that due to rank? And that's basically all of it in this example. So um, so those are the metrics. Um, so when are we showing in the top positions? When are we showing in absolute top positions? What percentage of the time when our ads are showing? Are they showing in top or absolute top? Um, and then where are we losing that impression share? Is it due to rank um, or is it due to budget? If it's due to budget, then you will tend to find uh, that you will lose search impression share here. So this will be low. Um, and there are some other metrics in your account where you can see that. So you'd see where you're losing ad impressions and of course, therefore clicks and of course, therefore sales or leads or inquiries or whatever you're trying to do with your Google Ads account. Um, so that's where you'd see budget. The rest generally is down to rank and that would be that you're not bidding enough or you're bidding on keywords which are too broad and are matching lots of stuff which are more specific and therefore your ads are not relevant or your landing pages are not relevant. So to give you an example of that, um, e-commerce is usually the easy one. So if you said, okay, I'm bidding on the phrase of dresses, well, you know, there are like a million variations of search queries that would match that from different colors, different sizes, different styles, different brands, and your ad can't be relevant for all of those things. So you would lose a lot of impression, uh, a lot of impression share, um, because that keyword is very, very broad. Whereas if you were bidding on blue dresses, red dresses, um, size 12 dresses, black size 12 dresses, you know, this kind of stuff, then you would have an ad that's relevant and your impression share would be higher because you've structured your, um, your campaigns and your ad groups and your keywords and your ads uh, much more specifically. And I would hope that if you're bidding on black size 12 dresses that you would land on a page that was relevant for that. So your quality score goes up, your impression share should go up as well. And therefore these metrics are better. So that's broadly what they are. Why are they important? Okay, so the most important reason that you are running a Google Ads account, I hope, is to get more leads or to get more sales if you're an e-commerce store, okay? That's why you run a search campaign on Google Ads, okay? For conversions. So we know that there is a direct comparison in the vast majority of cases from ad position add visibility, add frequency, and conversion rate. So in position five, historically, when, the, when we had the ads down the side of the page, that would have a lower conversion rate than add position one or two. We know that. Now, with the changes to the Google search results, where we only really have those ads in top positions and not down the side anymore, that's become much, much more critical. So much more competitive and much more important to be in those top three or four uh, positions. And, you know, particularly so in ad position one and two. So when you have a low, uh, when you have a low impression share for top positions, that is going to affect the number of impressions that your ads are getting, the number of clicks that they are getting, and the number of conversions. But more importantly, it's going to affect your conversion rate. So there is an argument that says, well, look, it's a pound a click. Everyone's paying that to be in top positions above, you know, at the top of the results. 
But what if I only paid 30 per click? Much my, my clicks would be, you know, a third of the price of those guys. So, you know, my budget's going to go further. Yes, that's true. You will get more clicks for your budget. The problem is you probably won't spend your budget because your ads aren't visible and no one's going to see them or very few people. Worse still, the people who have scrolled or looked at the first four ads at the top of uh, Google and have scrolled down the page or got onto page two or found your ad a long way down the list, they have kind of searched lethargy at this point. They've already probably made their decision and the conversion rate on your ad on your click that is cheaper is actually much lower. So the conversion rate in top positions is probably 10 times what you would get in the lower positions, which means even, the even though the clicks are cheaper, the conversions will cost more. And the value of those conversions will be lower as well. So the quality of those conversions and leads you're going to get will also be much lower, typically. Not all the time, but most of the time that's true. So that's why top positions um, an absolute top position are really, really important. Now, there is an argument over, you know, what should your ad position be? Do you always want to be in position one? Do you want to be in position two? Do you want to aim for position three? Um, and the truth is, it varies from campaign to campaign and keyword to keyword. So you need to monitor that data um, and decide what your policy is, but also just experiment with that with your keywords, your, your website, um, your campaign to find out what works best for you. Generally speaking, uh, my default position is probably aim for position two, so you're not paying over the odds. Sometimes you're going to be in position one, sometimes you're in position three, but you are always there, you are always visible, and the frequency is there to support those conversions anyway. But experiment with it and find out what works for you. So finally, as promised, let's take a quick look at the absolute top metrics and the top metrics for Google Shopping. How do we add these metrics to Google Shopping? Again, head to columns and you will find in competitive metrics, search impression share, search absolute top impression share, search lost impression share and click share. And I would suggest you add all of those. So I'll just walk you through what each of these uh, means. So earlier in the video, I explained what search impression share is, so I won't revisit that. Search impression share, uh, search absolute top impression share is less than 10% here. And that means that our product ads in this particular group are showing less than 10% of the time. Now, again, this may be uh, something we want to address. It may not be. Do we always want to be in top position with Google Shopping? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Again, we want to monitor the conversion rate and the cost per conversion. And most importantly for Google Shopping, the return on ad spend of being in top position versus being in uh, a lot lower down. Now in search, remember, uh, there are a limited number of positions. You've got those kind of top four, which are the ones that are really gonna do the work. Outside of that, there's not a huge amount of value, not a huge amount of volume. Um, but in Google Shopping, people are shopping. So they're not just clicking the first ad and saying, oh, that looks good, let's go. They're shopping, they're browsing around, and that's why there's a, usually a carousel of products. That's why there are more product ads. So I would argue that actually, um, if you are showing in the carousel, even if you're not first, then you're still going to get a decent volume of clicks. Remember, people are the user, the searcher is already filtering based on you know an immediate microsecond decision over the image that they like, the picture of that product, the price of that product, the brand that it is. They're already seeing that and filtering that. So actually, the click-through rate between that first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth position in that carousel. It's, it's probably not that much different. So absolute top position may not be quite so important, but again, maybe you want to experiment with that. And also um, it may be that more specific products, that's more important where more generic searches and more generic queries, lower intent queries, that's not quite so important. So that's giving you the absolute top impression share. Um, click share, we've done uh, a video on this, and again, I'll put a link in the description of this video for you so you can find that one. So click share is how many times your ads have shown, so how many impressions you have got um, against the volume of clicks that those queries are getting. So your ads have shown what's the number of clicks that typically everybody else, all other advertisers are achieving for those queries and what are you getting? So this account is only getting about a 33% click share and that probably means that is related to um, uh, the impression share and the bids uh, and things like that. So effectively we're showing but we're showing kind of 
further down the listings are not really visible. Um, so effectively, we probably just need to increase our bids, maybe, or exclude some of that traffic that's less relevant, that we're not getting clicks for. Um, so there's a way of optimizing that. Um, and then search lost impression share due to rank. Generally, that again, like search, is going to be the relevance of those products for the queries that are being typed into Google, but also the bids as well. So that's kind of wrapping up uh, these top metrics that Google has introduced. Um, if you're struggling with this, I'd love to hear from you. So do ask questions in the comments and we'd love to help. Um, if you need some support on this, we do one-to-one -one coaching. Um, and if you'd like an audit, if you'd like us to look at your account and give you some pointers as to how you can improve the pro performance and increase the profits, then uh, head to tillerson.co.uk, uh, find us there, or you'll find me at Tillerson. Uh, we'd love to help you. Um, do subscribe for more videos. There's more coming up over the next few weeks on Google Ads and SEO.